Are you considering a move to the Clayton area and wanting to know more about it? Well, in today's video, we're going to be telling you all those pros of living in Clayton, California and why we absolutely love it. So you're going to want to stay tuned if that is something you want to learn about. Let's get into it. All right, guys, I know you've seen my videos, pros and cons of living in Clayton, California, and I know you've seen the cons of Clayton, California. Many people have had comments on it, and I just want you to know I love Clayton, California. It's actually one of my favorites, but I gotta talk about both pros and cons, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the pros of why we love Clayton, California, and why you wanna consider living here, relocating to the San Francisco Bay Area, in the specific, the East Bay Area, because Clayton is gonna be part of the East Bay. So if you wanna know about Clayton, listen up, because we're going into all those pros right now. All right, pro number one is that Clayton has great schools. So go to greatschools.org, check it out, see the ratings, see what's good for you. I'm not allowed to have an opinion as a realtor on what schools are good or bad, but greatschools.org is a perfect place to go to kind of learn a little bit more about it. But what I love is that they just seem great. We were downtown Clayton the other day, there's a bunch of kids playing and hanging out and it was just so cool. I mean, super cute little quaint town. We'll get into more of it, but number one, is gonna be the schools are really good and just check it out for yourself at greatschools.org. All right, pro number two is I absolutely love this quaint, sweet little downtown. It's really, really cute. It's all walkable. So you have a plethora of like places you could go. It's like a photographer's dream. You could just take a bunch of photos anywhere. There's a cute little downtown. There's a little civic area where the city hall is that you can walk to underneath the um, bridge there. And the little area where the kids can play is so fun and it's really safe. You go down there and you just kind of feel the vibe out there's not a lot of homeless i know that california there is homeless pretty much everywhere you might have a little bit here but it's really minimal not bad at all very safe for the kids this is a place where you could just go and say hey sarah becky bob whatever ryan go down and and play and come back home when you're you're free kind of town that you could easily do that with i mean i'm so nervous i don't know if i would do that ever i always want to be like where my kiddos are but as i get older I think it's definitely a downtown that you could easily do that and just, you know, make sure that they're safe and having good old American fun. There's super cute little like shops and ice cream places and restaurants that you could easily walk to. There's even a cute little event center downtown and I recently was at an event there. It was really cute. Great for parties, like for kids parties, you know, small wedding if you wanted. It's just a really great little venue and it's all downtown, all walking, great parking. You never have to worry about parking and like paying the freaking meters like Mona Creek if the police are gonna come after you with a ticket, you know, it's just, I just love that about this town. So it's really cute, super quaint downtown. All right, now number three, in conjunction with the cute little quaint downtown, it's a small tight knit community. So everyone kind of knows everyone in the town for the most part. I mean, you're gonna see your neighbors if you're downtown cause it's small, but I like that. It's kind of like Alamo and Danville, a little bit smaller than those two um, towns, but just a really great close knit kind of community town. A lot of people know each other. And when you go to like uh, the little pizza places and um, there's a little skip is the pizza place where they have like bocce ball and stuff, you're most likely gonna see people you know there, which is really, really, really nice. And pro number four is that in this area, it's a low crime rate. So you can go to crimespot.org is where I always like to send everyone to kind of find out more information about crime and what goes on. You can see whatever, whatever happened recently in the area of where you're gonna be living or where you will live or are living. So low crime rate, safe, and it's kind of far, Clayton, so you're gonna, you have to factor that, which is a, a con, you know, in my other videos, is that the drive to Clayton can be really a bit of a trek, you know, coming from the freeway. It's not very close, but I think that's partially one of the reasons why there is a lower crime rate, you know, but again, it's a very, just a really nice, sweet, safe, awesome little town. Number five, this is like a personal one for me. I actually really love Oakhurst Country Club. It's just nice because it's nestled in, you know, up on the hills and you have ability to basically, if you wanted to be part of a country club, to be part of one. And it's actually a pretty kind of chill country club. I've been to a handful of events there. A lot of you guys know I used to be an event photographer, so I photographed a lot of events here and I've been to a couple of my myself, but I think that 
you will love this added bonus because if you don't have a pool, you could become part of Oakhurst. Basically like the benefits of having a pool because they have one. And I just think it's just a nice little added amenity to have in this small, cute little town, Oakhurst Country Club. It's, it's a great place to like, you know, have dinner, hang out, watch the sunsets, go swim. You can put your kids in the swim team there. I just think it's a, it's a nice little pro to living in Clayton. And my number six pro is that like we talked about before, it's a low poverty rate. So people here are going to be working, 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 well off, good citizens. There's not a lot of homeless. It's just gonna be like a good, nice little town that you don't have to worry too much. I mean, you always wanna worry a little bit, but I really like that there's low crime and poverty rate here. Uh, you can just trust your kids to go to the park and you don't have to worry about too much. To me, that is definitely a pro because, you know, some towns you really cannot ever send your kid to the park. I mean, cause that's where a lot of homeless go. So it's unfortunate. I don't know how to solve it, but that's one pro about that I really, really like. So, and I think you will too. So there you have it, six. <laughs> pros of living in Clayton, California. If you want to know more about living in the San Francisco Bay Area, we would love to help out and answer any questions that you may have. I know a lot of people are coming over here. You have a lot of questions. There's so many different cities and so many different sections of the Bay Area and it can be overwhelming. So if you want to know more about living over here, we're happy to help. Just reach out. All the information will be down below. Sharing is caring. So if you got some value out of this video, make sure to share it and pass along. And until the next video, have a great week and we'll see you next time guys. Bye.